चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं देखते हैं सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस विभोर शुक्ला के साथ द सिविल इंजीनियर्स बिफोर गोइंग चेकिंग द कास्टिंग ऑफ बीमा स्लैब रीनफोर्समेंट देर आर द सम टिप्स बेसिक और जनरल टिप्स यू मस्ट फॉलो एज ए कंसल्टेंट एज ए साइट इंजीनियर एज ए क्वालिटी सो टिप्स फॉर चेकिंग बीम स्लैब रीनफोर्समेंट बिफोर कास्टिंग फर्स्ट वन इज चेक विद द बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल दैट इज द बी बी एस इन द बी बी एस वी विल गेट द नंबर ऑफ स्टील बार्स द डाई ऑफ द बार्स एंड द कटिंग लेंथ टोटल वेट ऑफ द स्टील बार्स एंड देयर कॉस्ट वैल्यू एंड वेयर यू हैव टू अप्लाई एंड रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ रिंग्स बार्स यू कैन चेक दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन now comes up with the second check with the rcc drawing the general drawing provided by the consultant or the design engineer design civil engineer made in the autocad so you have to follow the drawing from the drawing you will make bbs and from the bbs you will follow the respective guidelines i am going to tell you in the down third one is the cover the covers like you see if we, there is a reinforcement main bars and distribution bars and this is your slab so you have to focus on the side cover the top cover the bottom cover you have to focus these little bit things for the lapping length the lapping length for example if you have a slab and you are still in in here so, and you have to extend up to here so you need another steel bar for this you have to lapping and this is called lapping length and this is considered in tensile and compression zone they for this i will uh, i have another video you can see in the playlist the bending wire these two crossing the main bar and the distribution bar we have to tie with some wire this is called the bending wire and the double bars the double bars are the nothing for example these is a double bar and here is a joint in the slab this is slab 1 this is slab 2 this is a joint so we double bar we provide here this is a transfer load without resisting the horizontal movement here we provide double bar now the state of the spacing for example the main bars and distribution bars we provide like this is the main bars and the distribution bars so spacing between the two if we go extend what is the spacing between this and what is the spacing between these so spacing matters also and this will be of center to center now the curtailment bars the curtailment bars the curtailment bars are provide when in a beam bending moment reduces and we have to provide the reinforcement in order to structural structural should be economical to and and also to minimize the waste of this steel in the structure we use curtail bars and coring bars and coring bars why we provide this and coring bars and coring bars are required with an additional with an additional concreting inter is to be uh, limited to the structure uh, is when the concreting has to be linked to the existing structures 
or it has to be extended to uh, another uh, another area so we need to we need to provide and uh, we have uh, we need to provide anchoring bars to existing structures or to increase the section of the existing structure you can say in other words to increase the uh, increase the existing structure of the uh, to some extent or some length we provide this anchoring bar for the future's concreting bent up bars to make to make the beam uh, away from compression stresses we provide bent, bent up bars like for example this we go here and there this is alternate bars so these are the basic steps you can see uh, tips for checking beams slab and reinforcement i hope you got the video do like subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much